A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful, Dave, they at you. I said, what? <laughs> One day or many days? <laughs>
when I feel like someone's pulling away, I'll just pull away too. Why do women and children evacuate first in any type of disaster? So men can think of a solution in silence. What was your scholarship in? Coffee? <laughs> What'd she say? Hockey. Women play hockey? <laughs> Hold on, do women really play hockey? Wait, what position were you? Center? Is that like a cuter one? <laughs> Your husband? Okay, what's her name? <laughs> why are men afraid of being falsely accused? I wonder why. Maybe because women like you. You guys don't understand how much power you women have. You can literally ruin a guy's life in three words. He raped me. Just take a good think about that. If a person goes to jail, that's it. Your career is over. Y'all have that much power that it's scary. You could easily ruin a man's life. I'm being dead serious right now. And that's why men are afraid to be framed. Women like you. You would be the type of person to do that. To the women who follow me, if you have done this before, please unfollow me. I don't want you on my page. Thank you for your time. Who do you call when you are at your lowest? Who is that one person? Nobody, I'm a guy. I give a shit. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. We live in a generation where standards are men do this and women do that. Not that it necessarily matters to like me personally, but I think like as a society, we see it that men do more than women in certain aspects and that women do different things than men. Do you, do you think that, like, is a problem at all for... Yeah, I think it's yeah. a problem because you shouldn't live by those standards, especially with the generation that we're in now. Okay. Um, if there was one thing you wish men understood better about women, what would that be? That we don't expect you guys to do everything. That we're sometimes, different? <laughs> sometimes we want to make you guys feel special too. Oh, okay, that's beautiful, I like that. That's great. Okay, um, so uh, if you wanna make a guy feel special, like, like what, what do you like to do to make a man feel special? You can invite him to dinner just like he does to you. You can put on something that he likes, you know, <laughs> just do what he likes. Just like. pay attention. Yeah, pay attention. To What's the point in what? Living. Might as well just kill yourself. So if you're watching a movie and you're really enjoying it, someone with Kevin Hart in. Yeah. And someone points out that this will end eventually, do you just go, oh, forget it then. What's the point? And just turn it off. No, because I can watch it again. Well, I think life is precious because you can't watch it again. I mean, you can believe in an afterlife if that makes you feel better. Doesn't mean it's true. But once you realize you're not going to be around forever, I think that's what makes life so magical. One day you'll eat your last meal, smell your last flower, hug your friend for the very last time. You might not know it's the last time, so that's why you should do everything you love with passion, you know? Treasure the few years you've got, because that's all there is. Why don't guys want relationships anymore? Because why invest in something that's gonna hurt? You see, I don't think this is a gender bias thing. I think in general, less and less people are interested in relationships because 
Why do you need them? You have the chance to hook up with somebody with a swipe on an app. Fill that little void of missing affection and then go back to your life with no strings attached. I know guys will say that every girl's the same and no girl wants a nice guy. And girls will say that no guy wants a relationship but all they want to do is hook and up. And I think the common thing here is that everyone's saying how they feel instead of living the life and actually feeling it. We go hunting on our phones for somebody to love, but we don't actually want to be loved. We'd rather just have a story to tell. So the issue isn't that men don't want relationships, but yet the majority is just not ready and they rather just be stuck people watching. You know one of the most messed up things about the world today? If you were born a man, no one cares about your mental health. No one cares about your well-being. The things that people say when you say that you're depressed or you're going through hard times is just appalling and astounding. Saying things like, you're weak, you're emotional, stop complaining. The worst part is, is if they do believe you have it hard, they say it is their fault that they have it hard because of patriarchy. Instead of attempting to help, they're always like, women have it worse. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Women have it worse. You should be happy because you're privileged. I've personally heard people tell men that they can't go through trauma because they're men. They can't be raped. They can't be victims. And the worst part is, we always wonder why these men commit suicide. People don't realize the extremity of these issues until it's too late. Life is pain! I wake up every morning, I'm in pain. I go to work in pain. You know how many times I wanted to just give up? How many times I've thought about ending it? When you lose your money, you lose nothing. When you lose your health, you lose something. When you lose your character, you lose everything. Remember that. Um, so do you prefer breasts or thighs? Personality. Boy, what the fuck? If women ruled the world, there would be no wars. Just a bunch of countries not talking to each other. <laughs> That's actually so accurate though. That is accurate. You're goddamn right. Caring only makes you weak. They think you care, they'll walk all over you. These are a few things I hate about the female species. Since the guys took it so well when I made a video about them, I thought it's only fair I do one for the girls. So ladies, please don't get mad. Anyway, let's begin. Number one, the toilet seat drama. Oh my fucking god. Ladies, right, why is it that every time a man lifts up the toilet and takes a piss, you want us to put it back down? Can't you do it your fucking self? I get that it's manners, right? But the double standards here is insane! Ladies, next time you finish peeing, yeah, lift it up for guys. I think that's only fair, right? No? Am I being stupid here? Number two, the I'm fine conundrum. Guys, we've all been in a situation where we ask a girl, how is she doing? And she says, I'm fine. And because we're guys, we're stupid. So we think she actually means it and we walk away. And then she goes, Well, that's it. What the fuck? And now we're in an argument. Fuck me. And last but definitely not least, at number three, the girls who wear too much makeup. Right now, I know I have no say on what a woman does with their body, but fuck me. The girls who wear too much makeup, please understand that you don't need makeup to make yourself look gorgeous. And I know you're gonna say, we don't wear it for you. Well, when you're going on a date, who the fuck do you wear it for then? The table? Look, I have no problem with you wearing makeup, but when you put so much on that you look like a fucking ghost, that's when you worry me a little bit. Just a little bit. The trans kids that came after me in the first demonstration against me, I said, you think I'm your enemy, but I'm not. And the reason I said that, being a clinician, was because I thought, well, you're adopting an identity that there is no rules for. What the hell are you going to do with that? You're inviting so much trouble into your life, you can't even possibly imagine it because you won't know what to do. And people won't know how to treat you. And so where does that leave you? Now, you might say, well, I'm so distraught about my, the discordance between my psychological state and my biological reality that that pales 
in comparison, and maybe there are situations where that's the case, but man, an identity that doesn't solve the problem of how you're going to live isn't an identity. I don't know what it is, but it's not an identity. My question is, okay. why do men lie so much? I mean, y'all know I ain't lying. Okay, you want the truth? This is why men lie. Because we are afraid mm -hmm. of your reaction to the truth. Because you don't beg the girl to go out with you. You wait. She'll call. That's not... Excuse me, hold on a second. Um, what if they don't call? They always call. And what about people who aren't you? You mean you? Yeah, of course I do. If they don't call, then they don't call. But once they smell your desperation, they won't respect you and they'll never get what you want anyway. Instead of using the typical mom and dad parent titles, there's actually gender neutral and non-binary parent titles that exist. It can be hard for parents within the LGBTQIA community to find a word that they feel comfortable being addressed as by their children. So here are some examples. Dama. Mada. Let's play the game, you've got problems. What does a woman put behind her ears to make herself more attractive? Her ankles. A little later. That's when I first met the first girl in my life that wanted to be with me. And I spent seven years with that girl. And I regret it very much, because that was a girl that treated me so badly and was just using me. She did every. She called me ugly. She forced me to walk five to ten meters behind her. She'd never hold my hand. She never kissed me. She never did anything to show appreciation of me. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it. If men can't come to the men that say, if you give a man a fish, riddle me this, if males are strong, when a man had the ordained man, can you shut the fuck up?